Have you ever gazed at the night sky and wondered how this vast universe came into existence? Is it the work of a divine creator, or is it a result of a colossal explosion known as the Big Bang? Throughout history, humans have looked to the heavens with curiosity and awe, pondering these very questions. They've sought to comprehend the origins of the universe, the celestial bodies, and our very existence. On one hand, we have the Big Bang Theory, a scientific explanation which suggests that the universe originated from a singularity, a point of infinite density and heat, around 13.8 billion years ago. This theory is supported by a plethora of empirical evidence, such as the cosmic microwave background radiation and the distribution of elements in the universe. On the other hand, there's the Christian creation narrative, a story told in the book of Genesis. It speaks of a divine creator who meticulously fashioned the universe and all life within it over the course of six days. These two perspectives may seem diametrically opposed, but can they be reconciled? Can the scientific understanding of the Big Bang and the religious interpretation of creation coexist? Are they really as contradictory as they appear? Or can they actually complement each other? In this video, we'll delve into the fascinating world of cosmology and theology exploring these intriguing questions. We'll unpack the Big Bang Theory, shedding light on its key concepts and evidences. We'll also examine the Christian creation narrative and how it might align with scientific discoveries. We'll explore the notion of an orderly universe, one that exhibits remarkable precision and complexity. Could this orderliness suggest a universe created with intent and purpose? Lastly, we'll grapple with the philosophical and theological implications of these theories. We'll address common misconceptions and questions about the compatibility of science and faith, and we'll consider the possibility of a divine creator. Stay tuned as we embark on a journey through space and time, exploring the harmony between science and faith. The Big Bang Theory, a concept that has revolutionized our understanding of the universe's birth, is more than just a scientific theory. At its core, the Big Bang Theory is a cosmological model, it proposes that the universe has expanded from a hot, dense and singular point into the vast, diverse expanse we see today. This expansion began approximately 13.8 billion years ago, a time frame calculated through rigorous scientific methods. A key pillar of the Big Bang Theory is the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, or CMBR, a fascinating phenomenon detected in every corner of the universe. It's essentially a snapshot of the universe when it was just a few hundred thousand years old. The discovery of the CMBR by Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson in the mid-20th century was monumental, providing tangible evidence of the Big Bang's occurrence. The CMBR is often likened to the echo or afterglow of the Big Bang, its existence supporting the theory that our universe began in a hot, dense state. The very uniformity of this radiation across the universe, with minute variations, is a testament to the homogeneity and isotropy of the universe in its infancy. Now let's talk about elemental abundance. The universe in its vastness is primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, with traces of heavier elements. This distribution is not arbitrary, it aligns with predictions made by the Big Bang Theory, which postulates that the early universe was hot and dense enough for nuclear fusion to occur, leading to the creation of these elements. The Big Bang Theory therefore marries observations about the universe's expansion, the CMBR, and elemental abundances into a coherent narrative about the universe's origin. It's an elegantly simple yet profoundly powerful explanation, shedding light on the earliest moments of our universe. The Big Bang Theory offers a scientific explanation, but does it align with religious beliefs? The Bible begins with the words, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, but could this align with the Big Bang Theory? As we delve further into the cosmos, we come across the fascinating book of Genesis, the biblical account of creation. It's a narrative that's been subjected to countless interpretations over millennia. Some see it as a literal seven-day creation, while others adopt a more metaphorical stance. But here's a thought. What if the Genesis account could be seen through the lens of the Big Bang Theory? Let's consider the first verse. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. 
This could parallel the Big Bang's concept of a definite beginning of space and time. The phrase heavens and the earth could be seen to represent the totality of the universe, not unlike the singularity from which it all burst forth. Next, Genesis speaks of the earth being formless and void, and darkness was over the surface of the deep. This could mirror the chaotic and featureless state of the early universe, filled with darkness until light particles began to form. And then, let there be light, a powerful phrase that mirrors the burst of energy and light that marked the universe's birth in the Big Bang. Genesis continues with the creation of the stars, the sun, the moon, and life on Earth, in a sequence that intriguingly mirrors scientific theories on the chronological development of the universe and life itself. Of course, these are just interpretations, and the beauty of such texts is that they're open to numerous perspectives. But it's interesting to consider how ancient scripture could harmonize with modern science. It suggests that perhaps in the quest to understand our origins, science and faith might not be at loggerheads, but could instead provide different yet complementary perspectives. The Big Bang Theory and the Bible may not be as contradictory as they seem, so if we open our minds, we might just find that the universe is even more fascinating than we ever imagined. Looking at the universe, we see patterns, order and laws. Could this orderliness be evidence of a universe created with intent and purpose? It's a question that beckons a captivating exploration. The universe as we know it is a masterful symphony of celestial bodies, elegantly interacting under the governance of fundamental laws of physics. From the predictable revolution of planets around their stars to the consistent speed of light, the universe exhibits a remarkable degree of order and predictability. This orderliness is not limited to the macroscopic level. Even on the smallest scales within the realm of quantum mechanics, we find patterns and rules. Particles behave in specific, predictable ways, allowing us to build technologies that harness these properties. But where does this order come from? Why does the universe obey such specific laws? One could argue that this orderliness is indicative of a purposeful creation. The universe in its intricate complexity behaves more like a finely tuned instrument than a random assortment of particles. Consider the fundamental constants of nature, the speed of light, the gravitational constant, the charge of an electron. These values are finely tuned to an astonishing degree. If they varied even slightly, the universe as we know it could not exist. Stars wouldn't form, atoms wouldn't hold together, life as we know it would be impossible. Could this fine-tuning be mere coincidence? Or is it evidence of a universe designed with intent and purpose? Some view these patterns as the fingerprints of a purposeful creator, an architect of order and complexity. This perspective does not conflict with scientific understanding, but rather it complements it. The laws of physics are the tools used by the creator, the blueprints for the universe. Science then is a means of understanding these blueprints, of uncovering the divine design. The order we see in the universe suggests a harmonious balance between science and faith. It's a fascinating thought, isn't it? That the universe could be both a masterpiece of physical laws and a testament to a purposeful creation. The Big Bang Theory raises not only scientific questions, but also philosophical and theological ones. Indeed, the Big Bang Theory has profound implications that extend beyond the realm of cosmology and into the world of philosophy and theology. It provokes us to ponder on questions about our existence, our purpose, and the nature of the universe. It challenges us to grapple with concepts that are as vast and complex as the cosmos itself. One of the philosophical quandaries that arise from the Big Bang Theory is causality. If the universe began with the Big Bang, what caused it? What was there before the Big Bang? Here we stumble upon the age-old question, why is there something rather than nothing? This is a question that science alone cannot answer, and it is where philosophy steps in. From a theological perspective, the Big Bang theory also has significant implications. For many, the notion of a beginning suggests a beginner. The complexity, order and sheer magnitude of the universe can be viewed as evidence of a divine creator. This is not to say that the Big Bang Theory proves the existence of God. Rather, it's an interpretation that aligns with the belief in a creator who established the laws of physics and set the universe into motion. 
There are, of course, those who argue that science and faith are incompatible, that belief in the Big Bang theory negates the existence of a divine creator. However, this is a misconception. The Big Bang theory is a scientific explanation of how the universe began. It does not address why the universe exists or what purpose, if any, it serves. These are questions of faith, of theology, and they can coexist with our scientific understanding. In the end, the Big Bang Theory, with its philosophical and theological implications, invites us to explore the mysteries of the universe with an open mind. It encourages us to seek answers, not just through scientific inquiry, but also through introspection and contemplation. The Big Bang Theory, far from disproving God, can actually lead us to deeper questions about the nature of existence and the possibility of a creator. As we've explored today, the Big Bang Theory and Christian faith can coexist harmoniously in our understanding of the universe's origins. In our journey through the cosmos, we've seen that the Big Bang Theory offers a scientific explanation for the birth of our universe. We've delved into the cosmic microwave background radiation and element abundances, which provide tangible evidence for this colossal event. These scientific discoveries don't undermine faith, instead they enhance our awe and wonder at the complexity and grandeur of the cosmos. We've also examined the Genesis account of creation, revealing that the narrative can align with the Big Bang theory when viewed from a non-literal perspective. The opening lines of Genesis, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, echo the concept of a singular starting point, a Big Bang, if you will. Moreover, we've observed the extraordinary orderliness of our universe. The precise laws of physics that govern everything around us suggest intentionality and purpose, resonating with the Christian belief in a purposeful creation. At the crossroads of science and faith, we've grappled with profound philosophical and theological questions. The Big Bang theory raises intriguing implications about a divine creator challenging us to reconcile our scientific understanding with our spiritual beliefs. Yet, as we've seen, these two perspectives need not be at odds. In fact, the harmony between the Big Bang Theory and Christian faith can enhance our appreciation for both. The intricate scientific principles that underpin our universe can deepen our admiration for the Divine Creator's craftsmanship. Simultaneously, our faith can imbue the scientific facts with a richer, more profound meaning. So, we see that the Big Bang Theory and Christian faith can live in harmony, each enriching our understanding of the universe's origins. They are not adversaries, but allies in our quest for truth. We hope this exploration encourages you to reflect on the interplay of science and spirituality in understanding the universe. Thank you for taking this journey with us today. We've delved into the depths of the universe, unraveled the mysteries of the Big Bang, and discovered the harmonious interplay between science and faith. This exploration doesn't end here, far from it. There's a vast cosmos out there, filled with more questions than answers, and we encourage you to keep seeking, keep questioning. For those of you who wish to delve deeper into this fascinating topic, we've provided links to further reading and resources. These will offer you a more nuanced perspective on the Big Bang Theory, its scientific foundations, and its philosophical and theological implications. The universe is an awe-inspiring testament to the power of inquiry, and your journey of discovery is just beginning. Don't forget to subscribe and follow for more thought-provoking content. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.